why the Marine Corps F-35B is such a badass plane. One of the deadliest fighters ever made is the F-35B Lightning II, a short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft, the F-35B. The F-35B is a modified version of the standard F-35 multi-role fighter, often known as the Lightning II. For the Royal Air Force, Royal Navy, and U.S. Marine Corps, this model was created. The United States provided the majority of the financing for the development of this aircraft, with additional funding coming from the United Kingdom and other partner governments. So, what's packed in the F-35B Lightning? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, and military planes from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's dive in. At the International Pitch Black Exercise in Australia, the F-35 fighter plane is making its premiere. Drills there were being conducted by Marine Corps B Marines prior to the major event. According to Lieutenant Colonel Richard Berman, an operations officer with Marine Aircraft Group 12 headquartered in Iwakuni, Japan, the 12F-35B short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft were rehearsing the Corps' idea known as Expeditionary Advanced Basing Operations at RAAF Base Curtain. The F-35Bs have been stationed at RAAF Base Tyndall, 600 miles from Curtin, since mid-August in preparation for Pitch Black, a military exercise involving more than 2,500 soldiers and aircraft from 10 nations. The EABO training in Australia, according to Beerman, was the result of multiple MAG-12 activities designed to sharpen the concept. He said this in an interview with Defense News on Friday. The officer described one of those exercises as the unit's most robust and in-depth application of the concept, which involved utilizing Tyndall as a hub and Curtin as a spoke to mimic EBO's hub-and-spoke model. According to EBO, the Marines will be able to send out mobile, easily supported expeditionary forces to remote temporary positions in or close to conflict areas to carry out tasks like sea control or denial. The 10,000-foot runway, aircraft shelters, and other facilities at RAAF Base Curtin, which the locals refer to as a frontline bear base, are typically manned and maintained by a small caretaker team, unless they are activated for use during drills or an emergency. Additionally, the 12 F-35Bs from Marine Fighter Attack Squadrons 121 and 242 are in Australia for training with Marine Wing Support Squadron 171 and Marine Aviation Logistics Squadron 12 to MAG-12 subordinate units. During the EBO training, a pair of Marine Corps KC-130J Super Hercules tankers located in Japan supported the F-35Bs by carrying out transport duties and providing rapid ground refueling. About 150 fighter squadron soldiers and 60 members of support units representing the Marine Corps' Air Ground Task Force concept, which aims to provide multi-domain capabilities, were part of the U.S. air and ground elements that went to Australia. Additionally, according to Beerman, the F-35s deployed to Australia with the Autonomic Logistics Information System, which is used for the aircraft's preventive maintenance. In order to send data for ALIS, he pointed out that Marines employed a very small aperture terminal, which is effectively a ground station with a satellite dish. As part of the EBO exercise, MAG-12 also implemented a PACE plan, which stands for Main, Alternate, Contingency, and Emergency. This allowed the force to relay voice and data communications between Iwakuni, Tyndall, and Curtin, utilizing high-frequency radio. Beerman highlighted that during the first three weeks of the deployment, only one F-35B dropped out of an assigned sortie out of their F-35Bs and other supporting assets. Between August 19th and September 1st is pitch black. As part of large force employment operations with a range of aircraft from other partner nations, including F-15, F-16, and Su-30 fighters, eight American F-35Bs and Australian F-35As flew air-to-air -air and air-to-ground sorties during the day and at night. Behrman noted that a sizable airspace was reserved for the maneuvers and that they improve interoperability and integration capabilities with allies and partners in the Indo-Pacific area and beyond. In order to refuel mid-flight, multi-role tanker transport aircraft from Australia, Singapore, and the United Kingdom flew alongside the Marine Corps' F-35Bs. The British Eurofighter Typhoon jets were refueled by KC-130J tankers of the Corps. 
The Marine Corps hosted delegations from partner nations, including one from Singapore's Next Generation Fighter Project office during this year's Pitch Black, giving partner nations a chance to see the F-35B up close and in action. The F-35B has been chosen by Singapore as its Next Generation Fighter and the U.S. The sale of the first four aircraft with an option to purchase eight more has already been approved by the State Department. Initial shipping is anticipated to start in 2026. Pitch Black reportedly involves 17 countries, including Australia, France, Germany, Indonesia, India, Singapore, Japan, South Korea, the United Kingdom, the Philippines, Thailand, the United Arab Emirates, Canada, the Netherlands, Malaysia, New Zealand, and the United States, according to a website run by the Royal Australian Air Force. The General F-35 aircraft was planned in three primary variants, the F-35A conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, the F-35B short rake of and vertical landing aircraft and the F-35C carrier-based aircraft. In order to reduce the cost of development and manufacture, it was envisioned that these variations would share around 80% of their components. Also, less logistical assistance would be needed. The commonality of the designs was just 20% in 2017 as it turned out. Cost overruns were a recurring problem for the F-35 series development program. Aircraft from the F-35B's low-rate initial manufacturing had an average unit cost of $122 million. An F-22 Raptor stealth fighter, for instance, costs over $150 million per unit and is the most powerful fighter ever produced. 2015 saw the USMC and the F-35B reach initial operational capability. When it entered operational service, it was the first F-35 variant. Older F-A-18 multi-role fighters, particularly its A, B, C, and D variants, and AV-8B close support aircraft being replaced by the F-35B and USMC service. One more F-35C carrier-based version is used by the U.S. Marines. The F-35B is slated to be exported to Turkey, Italy, and the United Kingdom, and perhaps some other nations as well. The multi-role F-35B fighter aircraft is capable of carrying out air defense, close air support, and tactical bombing missions. Its total armament payload is 6,800 kilograms, which is distributed among two internal weapon bays and external hardpoints. The AIM-120 AMR AAM, AIM-132 ASRA AM, JDAM, JSAL, Brimstone, WCMD, MBDA Meteor, and a few additional missiles are all compatible with the F-35B. Its interior armament base may accommodate a mixture of two AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air missiles and two JDAM air-to-ground explosives. Short-range air-to-air missiles AIM-9X Sidewinder can also be mounted on wingtip pylons, but carrying external weaponry comes at the risk of being more radar detectable. Hey, that's going to end today's episode. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.